I really feel like this is too much. Why is everything so hard? I just can't understand why when I have the most on my plate than ever before. Why would you have me out here struggling like this now? Hi, I'm Jade Godbolt and this is Becoming Her Journey to Joy, a free Bible devotional that I wrote for women that are becoming her. We're breaking down the girl that we built to become the women that God designed. So welcome to day one. It's not on me, it's in me. The guiding scripture for this day is James 1 verses 2 and 3. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Release the weight. When I think about all the responsibilities modern life comes with, I get dizzy. <laughs> From the expectations of achievement and goals throughout our youth to the somewhat abrupt reality that just because we dream it doesn't mean we'll achieve it. It won't be because we didn't work hard. It'll be for some uncontrollable reason that seems to just feed the I am not worthy narrative. Ugh. Then we got the nerve to desire romantic love, marriage, kids. Whew, child, that's a lot, okay? Believe me, as a wife and a mom of three plus a bonus daughter, I have had real deal combos with God like, look, I can't understand why you let me go through this right now. And then I continue on to the tune of something like, Father, I really feel like this is too much. Why is everything so hard? I just can't understand why when I have the most on my plate than ever before. Why would you have me out here struggling like this now? And you know what? He ain't looking at me crazy when I say these things to him. Yeah, he knows what's happening already and yet he still listens to my every syllable with empathy and compassion. It's a breaking moment and he knows it even more than I do. <laughs> He knows that this is the part of the pruning process he takes all of his children through, where we're holding his hand and we're walking with him. And like children, we continue to look around, wondering and asking a million questions. <laughs> but thankfully, <laughs> he's patient like the good father he is. And the mere fact that we're walking with him brings him such delight. Because more than anything, he desires to be the one who doesn't just lead the way, but who carries the load. The revelation from that moment when I was feeling the weight of the world on my shoulders was this. If I was created for everything God is leading me into, then he's the one who must provide and maintain the load. He has the strength and power to create the universe, to move mountains and to split seas. Why do I think whatever I'm facing is too big or too small for him to care about, for him to be involved with? How? When he cares about even the lilies and the wildflowers. And if I'm his child, his prized possession, his beloved daughter, wouldn't he be glad that I wanted him to do the most important part of the task at hand? Yes, my will is strong, but his is stronger, more powerful, sovereign, just, and pure. I don't got this. I really don't got this, but he does. It's in those moments where God allows me to remember, no longer do I have to hustle and use my own strength to get through. Sis, we have his Holy Spirit that guides us so that we can tap into his power on demand for whatever we need. Here are the two journal questions for today. Write down one thing or a few that you need God to carry for you today. What are you asking God to give you back in return? All right, sis, sit with that, pray over it, and I'll see you in day two. If you're not a part of the sisterhood yet, definitely join our private Facebook group. It's called the Becoming Her Sisterhood. Journey to Joy is part of a series of devotionals that I've been writing. The first one being the original Becoming Her devotional, which is a four day devotional that is really all about breaking down the girl you built to become the woman God designed you to be.